Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the double lanyard knot. Now, there are many double lanyard knots around. Some are just doubled lanyard knots, but this one is a double length lanyard knot. As such, it is very appropriate for lanyards, of course. Using it on a knife lanyard, for example, has a very nice effect. You could also use it on bracelets and such to give them a bit of a different look to them. In any case, this knot is not the simplest to tie, I must admit. It did take me at least 10 to 20 re-ties to get it to where I could understand it. In short, you could say that it is just like tying a Turk's head and it has 4 bites at the top and bottom. Be sure to be patient when tying this knot and enjoy the video. So to start off, I have folded my cord in half and I'm going to make two loops with my left cord. So the first one I make over like this. And then I take the left end again and go through the top of the loop, under the left part and over the cord. like this. With my right hand, I'm going to go under the top part here, then over the two sections at the middle and under the bottom part. You will want to leave the top part pulled out a bit, it will serve as our reference point. We're going to pick up our right end. And you can see that we created a bunch of parallel cords and we're going to split these by going the opposite of where they're going. So here they're going under, so we're going to go over. Then they're going over and we're going to go under. Then we're going to fold over this cord here, because the cords are going under it. We're then going to go under, because there are two parallel cords going over here. So we're going to go under. And we're now going to take our newly created cord, or you could say loop, and fold it over the top section that we pulled out here. And we're going to go under here. Like this. So this is what you have now. You now need to look for the center of the knot which has four parts, so it's square shaped. Here. One, two, three, four parts. We're going to take our cord, the top cord, and go past this cord on the left, under and through the middle. With our bottom cord, we're going to go past this right cord here, and through the middle. With this we have tied our doubled lanyard knot and you now need to slowly and very carefully pull out the slack. I'm doing this in fast forward so it won't waste too much of your time. But it does require some patience to adjust the knot. Here you can see one that I've tightened quite a bit and it is ready to be used on a knife lanyard, for example. So guys, thank you for joining me in this tutorial. See you next time.